Hi, I'm Steve Burgess, your computer forensics expert with Burgess Computer Forensics. Today's topic is uh, the answer to the question, can you recover email? And the answer is, of course, an unequivocal maybe. There are three main kinds of email. There's Outlook, there is Outlook Express and other text-based emails, and there's Webmail. Now, Outlook is a program that many people are familiar with, of course. It's made by Microsoft. It's quite prevalent in corporate environments. Individuals use it as well. Everything in Outlook, all of the emails, all of the mailboxes are stored in one giant file called a PST file. It can be enormous. It can be gigabytes in size. It often is. And the PST file, that's P like Paul, S like Sam, T like Tom, stores things in an encrypted form. So if we were to go into a PST file without the use of a special reader, everything would just look like gobbledygook. When an email is deleted, of course, it goes into the deleted mailbox. And when it is purged from the deleted mailbox, it's still within the body of the PST file until that PST file is compressed, which often doesn't happen. So we're often able to go into the PST file, hack it, and bring back those deleted mails. Now, a keyword search for terms that might be in an email is not much use for mail that's in Outlook because everything's encrypted. It's not in a text form. There's very little that will be turned up from a keyword search on an Outlook file. Text-based emails are another matter. Of course, as everything's stored in text, text searches are very useful in text-based emails. Examples of that are, for instance, Outlook Express, as distinct from Outlook, Eudora, which I use much of the time, Thunderbird, uh, Macintosh Mail, there are a lot of text-based email client programs, as they're called. And generally, every mailbox is one big file, but things are stored in a text form within the file. When emails are deleted, or even when mailboxes are deleted, that text that formed those emails is still searchable on the computer. So in most cases, we're able to find lots of useful information by doing keyword searches for emails as long as they existed on the computer at some point and haven't been overwritten by something else entirely. Uh, web-based mail is a horse of a different color because when you're viewing web-based mail, you're not really viewing something on your computer. It's displayed on your screen, but much like with a television program, unless you have a TiVo, it's not actually stored locally. It's you're viewing it from a signal that's coming from a remote place that's broadcasting it. In a similar fashion, you, when you are looking at your web mail through Yahoo Mail or Hotmail and you're using a browser like uh, uh, Mozilla or uh, Firefox or Internet Explorer, then you're viewing that mail and it's not actually being stored on your computer. Now, a record of you viewing that page is being stored on your computer, and we can certainly find uh, the internet history with a record of that access, with a record of the page that's been used, in, in many cases, with a record of either search terms or um, even passwords at times that have been typed in to get into a uh, mail um, account. But with the exception of a few things that are stored in cache and what might be stored as a record of the internet history, which is, by the way, generally stored in text form, still not much in the way of web-based email is stored on your local computer. So varying levels of success with different types of mail programs and uh, depending on uh, whether or not the mail is still exists on the computer. Even if it has been deleted, it's likely to still exist on the computer. Well, I hope that helps uh, with the qu answer to the question. And uh, please stop by www.burgessforensics.com or call us toll free 866-345-3345 and we'll answer any other questions you might have, I would expect. Thanks a lot.